Hello everyone, and this is a full tutorial on how to change your mouse cursor. So, there are two different ways to change your mouse cursor in Windows. So, if you type in mouse, you're going to see mouse settings, and you're going to see change mouse pointer size. So, these are the two ways you can change them. Let's start with the first one, since it's a little more complicated. So, click on mouse settings. Go over here, see my pointer, go over here to adjust mouse and cursor size. Okay, now you're going to see the two options that we have. Now this is the first option, this one's a lot more simple and doesn't require anything um, to be downloaded for the internet. This one, you just pick a color and it changes your cursor to that color. And you can also change the size or pick a custom color. To the side, if we go to additional mouse settings, now we click that. Now if we click additional mouse options, this tab is going to open. And we're going to click, you see we're on buttons, we're going to go to the next tab, that is pointers. Now these are your cursors. These are the cursors I'm using. They all got reset to red because I clicked on red earlier. So what you're going to do is you're probably already going to have a saved cursor set. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that after I show you how to do this. So, what you're going to do after you download your cursor set is go to Browse, and then you see all these. So, um, these are the cursors that are automatically already in Windows, and you can choose any of them. But if you want your own custom cursors, you're probably going to save your cursors to pictures or some other folder. Here is one of the packs I downloaded. It's basically just blue. And now you see these, you're going to see the cursors. Now this is normal select. Now what we've clicked on here is a normal select, and we clicked browse. Now one by one, I know it's kind of painful, but one by one we're going to click our cursor. I'm going to hit apply, and there we go. So now we have our new cursor. Now if you want to change all of these, you can. All you have to do is go to browse again. So this is the working in background. And then you can one by one go through and put all of your cursors in. So if you want your cursor to go back to its default setting, um, basically just how it usually looks if you don't touch it at all, you just go to use default right down here, press it, and then press apply. And then your pointer will go back and uh, you just do that for all of them. You can also remove the shadow from your cursor, which it may or may not be visible. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to actually get these cursors and how to download them. So all you have to do is type cursors. Alright, so you've typed in cursors. The search bar has been put in. Now look at this. Open cursor library. Now I wouldn't trust any other website. I actually don't use any other website, but um, www.rw-designer.com is the one I use and I even have an account with. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to take you to this website. This might look like kind of a sketchy website, but believe me, it works. So if you scroll down, you're going to see all kinds of cursors, and I know some of them are a bit cringy, but whatever, people like different things. So you got a bunch of random cursors. You can actually search right here and you can search for whatever you need to search for. Let's just say we want red. Okay, we have red cursors right here. Okay, let's say you want something a little bit more fancy. Maybe you want animated cursors, because if you didn't know, your cursors can be animated. So let's try fire cursors. Okay, now that we've typed that in, here's fire cursors, roaring flames cursors by Chess. And let's see. So they're animated and they look pretty good actually. So if you want to download this, all you got to do is click download. Now it's going to bring you to your files obviously and then you save it wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So I have WinRAR so that's why my zip file looks like this. Um, if you want to unzip this file, uh, you're going to have to get WinRAR and all you have to do to get WinRAR is go ahead go to your browser, type in WinRAR, download, make sure it is the WinRAR website and not something that's a virus, 
and you go here, you download WinRAR. I will leave a link in the description below for this website and this website if you're having trouble. So after you download WinRAR, since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it. Uh, you're going to right click and you're going to click Extract to Roaring Flames. There we go. So now that you've done that, you can open it up and see that all of the cursors are there. Now all you have to do is go back, type in mouse, like I said before, I'm gonna go to additional mouse options, I'm gonna go to pointers, and then you're gonna slowly fill in all of your cursors by going to browse, and then going to wherever you saved your cursors, so mine are right here in this folder. And now we're gonna click normal select because that's your normal select cursor. Open, apply, and now we have a fire animated cursor so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. And besides that, have a good day and goodbye.